Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. <laughs> All right, everybody. By the title of this video, you know that we are going to be talking about our glorious unshaven pits. I am known around here as an armpit hair grower. Pit hair don't care. I try to get out videos every week and you know the level of quality is here we're going we're we're aiming for here you know it's it's a growth process we're starting from the bottom working our way to the top it's the climb you feel me i thought it would be good to share with people that may not understand may not understand my reasoning behind letting them grow especially because if you look at me i hope I look like a woman and most women are not known for um, letting their hair under their arm grow out like that. I mean, unless you were a hippie back in the day or something. There's a stigma against it and I guess we're trying to break that. Let's just go over the benefits of unshaven pits. That's why you're here, right? You clicked on the video. So number one, if you're not removing your hair with a razor, then one benefit would be you don't have to deal with razor burn, razor bumps, razor cuts. In addition, you may not experience itchiness with the hair growing back, okay? Now, if you're removing your hair a different way, as I used to do, oh, sorry, my mic. As I used to do, like say epilation or waxing, there's still going to be a chance of some itchiness when it grows back. If you're not doing that, bam, a benefit for you. I don't think I've ever had razor burn, maybe razor bumps, but you won't have to deal with all that stuff associated with razors. You're welcome. Grow them freely, ladies. Number two, because you're not shaving your armpits constantly i had to shave it like every other day that is less razors you have to buy therefore you are saving money benefit number two now i know some of you may shave other parts of your body as well right you're still gonna have to buy razors for that okay i understand but the hair on the different areas of your body armpits legs bikini area they're all different you can google it look it up there are different types. You should not be using the razor you use to shave your legs for your bikini area and maybe not for your armpit area. So I understand if you're shaving other areas of your body, but if you stop shaving your armpits, that's like one less razor you have to buy or more time in between buying new razors because you have to replace those. Number three, potential to attract your future mate potential to find true love. Yeah, I've said it before, I think, and I don't have any scientific evidence to back me up right now. I know I'm a horrible researcher person thing, um, but basically the armpit hair kind of acts like a little, um, a little tiny little incense attached to your body, you know, with, with your specific specifically designed and unique scent attached to them, okay? So when you're sweating and you're getting hot or whatever, those little incense start to release their aroma, okay? And someone with a really good nose is gonna catch a whiff of that scent and be drawn to you, be attracted to you. And it will deter people that don't really mix well with your scent. They say if you like the smell and taste of your partner, that that is a good sign that you guys will be a good biological match, meaning the kids you have will probably 
end up being healthy um you'll make a good breed of human <laughs> if you don't like the scent of your partner their own natural scent you might want to start looking for a new partner <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i don't want to ruin any relationships number four less shower time i myself I'm trying to be an environmentalist and I'm trying to do everything I can in the little ways that are possible for me right now. Less shower times is really easy, okay? And that also goes back to saving money because if you're paying your own bills, like moi, water bills are a thing. Water is not free, no matter what they say. Less showers, less use of water, especially if you take hot water, that's less gas you're using. It's a whole big plethora. I don't know if I use that word right. Plethora benefit for you get in get out get ahead okay go do something productive who cares about shaving your armpits in the shower save save the planet save mother earth i didn't have a number five but i know i'm gonna throw a number five in there self-confidence if you're rocking your armpit out there and you're showing it off and you're at the beach and you're a woman like good for you that shows that you don't really care it's not a big deal what people think whatever like you you're rocking you okay regardless if you're beautiful inside and out having hair is not gonna make you any less of that right and there are some men that want to shave their armpits and if they are allowed to shave their armpits and be fine and be normal and everyone likes them then why can't women grow out their armpit hair and obviously if you don't want to be around that fine don't go date that girl because she has armpit hair but don't try to put your beliefs like you need to shave that because you're gross then that just makes you the ugly human being. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so yeah, those are the five benefits I think that I just came up with. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I am talking really fast because my battery is blinking at me. This camera's about to die. I hope you understood, understood everything that I said. If you don't have anyone supporting you, I am here for you. Sorry again, my mic. I am here for you. Um, I'm mainly trying to talk to the women here if there are any women watching this video <laughs> those are the benefits I have gotten from having my armpit hair there and there are some negatives I guess and I'll make a different video for that thanks for watching give it a like leave a comment <laughs> practice smelling others don't be a creep but just notice the different sense of people and what you like and what your body seems to be attracted to it'll really help you guys in the long run just saying